Okay, so uh, this is the third and last session that we'll be presenting. And I'm, I'm going to try to wrap up a few things. Uh, uh, I'm not going to repeat everything. There's no need to with the uh, internet. You can always go back and look at my previous clips. And I encourage you because, you know, I talk about, I touch upon a lot of, a lot of items. There's a lot of information given out. And so now you have the benefit of replaying the clips to listen to what I say. And, you know, hopefully that will mean something more. And again, you know, research has shown that in order for you to really listen, to hear something, to understand, it takes seven repetition. And so you can go back and play my tape, listen to my lecture for seven times, and it, it, it probably, you know, tells seven times, it'll finally, maybe it'll make some sense. But the more you listen to it, just like the more you practice, the better you get. Okay, so uh, a little outline of what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna pick up what's remaining of the Tai Chi Chi Gong. There's 18 postures. I think we finished 18 of them. I mean, not 18, 16 of them. There are two left, and so we'll just pick that up first thing to finish that. And then later, and then after that, we'll just go over the, the form completely. So when you look at the video, you have something that you can uh, uh, watch uh, so you can uh, follow along and, and complete. I think if you do everything what we've covered without me talking, it takes about 26 minutes or 30 minutes. And so with that, you know, you met your minimum 30 minute requirement of movement each day. At least that's what the doctors recommend that we move you know, 30 minutes a day. So you'll get that. I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit. Okay. Um, again, I'm gonna go finish the Tai Chi Chi Gong. I'm gonna go through a uh, all the exercise, the warm up, and uh, you know, and the joint flexibility exercise. And so, for people that are new here or people that are joining me on online, you know, I just want to say again that this class is a qigong class. It's called Tai Chi Qigong. It's because this qigong form uses Tai Chi movement, and that's the reason for his naming. It is not Tai Chi. Qigong is not Tai Chi, and Tai Chi is Qigong. So I'll let you think about that a little bit. Okay, we have intent. Our intents are different, and how we train internally are different. And Tai Chi is much more complex than Qigong. Qigong is strictly about breathing, movement, air, strictly for health. Whereas Tai Chi is for health and also for martial art. And there's also that uh, internal training into it. They call it Nei Gong. But you know, that's a, you know, that's a big area in itself. Okay, so 
what I do in the Tai Chi, uh, the Qigong is easy enough where you can always uh, sit down if you're not able to stand up or you have, um, or you can't stand up very long. Okay, uh, I encourage you to look at my pre previous video clips and I'm going to start off with finishing off the Tai Chi Qigong. So we got two movement left. Uh, the movement, the last two movement, it's called play ball like a child. Okay, it's all like a, like a child bouncing a ball. But this is good for balance because it requires you to balance one leg at a time. Okay, now for people that who don't have balance or have um, balance on that very good, I'm gonna caution you. You know, don't stand up in one leg and leave yourself out, you know, at risk to fall. Okay, you're not there yet. So, uh, I'll show you a couple ways how to do this one. The first easiest way is just to keep your, both your feet on the ground. Okay, and just shift your weight. Like if I'm going to stand on my right leg, this leg, I'm going to shift all my weight here. And so this leg is kind of that you know, it, it doesn't contribute anything to your balance. It's just a, uh, you know, a limp. And so when we switch on the other leg, same thing. You know, it, they call this, when your leg has weight on it, it's called substantial. And then when you don't have any weight on the other leg, the left leg, they call it unsubstantial. Okay, you can look at it like chi is moving from the right leg to the left leg. And then when you put your leg down, now your chi is moving from your left leg to your right leg, okay? So we'll just do this one method. And so have your, again, have your feet about shoulder width, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna lean on this side. Notice my right side, it's almost a straight line. It's like balance, you know what I'm talking about? Balance. You know, you're not gonna, if you unbalance, it's, 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 you're gonna feel uncomfortable. Okay, so here, just, I just want you to feel like uh, shifting your weight from one foot to the other. And so right now, I got all my weight on my right foot, okay? And then shift my weight to my left leg, okay? So it's just shifting. You wanna make sure that your weight or your center of gravity is directly over your supporting base, okay? If your center of gravity off a little bit, you, uh, you know, you're not shifting, uh, you haven't shifted completely. And you see that if my center is not exactly over my bearing base, you pick up your leg, you fall, okay? If your center is directly over your uh, supporting base, so I can pick up my leg, and I'll be okay. Okay, so let's do one more. So just shift the weight here. Okay, shift the weight here. Okay, you see my hand moving? I'll explain that to you on the next one. Okay, now as you get comfortable, you know, feeling your leg, you're sinking, you know, sinking and rooting. This is your, and then have proper alignment so you balance. So you have all this together plus your breathing. So you sink, you shift the weight, you want to exhale. So it'd be bottom heavy. Or, so your foot can anchor into the ground. Okay. Okay, the second method, as you uh, uh, progress, you can move, if you feel comfortable, um, move up a little bit. I mean, not move up, but uh, let's go to the next uh, movement, not next movement, let's go to the next way of uh, play ball like a child. Now, if you notice here, my heel is up off the ground, okay? When my heel is off the ground, it's kind of giving me a sense that I don't have any weight here. If I have weight, you can feel it more if your foot was completely uh, contact or flat on the ground. Okay, so I shift my weight, I just lift my foot up. Notice I'm more on this side, okay? The side a little 
you know, there's weightlessness on this side, and this is right side is fully weighted. Okay, so just give yourself and do the same thing. As you get used to uh, shifting the weight and balancing, sinking, and rooting, then you know you can take off. You know, lift your feet off the ground a little bit. You don't have to lift to a little bit off the ground. And so you do need to um, be balanced. You can be grounded easy. Okay, so just lift it so so your other foot, your this one, does not touch the ground. You're, you're balancing on one foot. It's not easy. I mean, this is why you need to have flexible ankle. And we did the flexibility exercises. Okay, and so same thing here. Okay. Now, when you do all this, you know, what about my arm? Well, look at my arm, see? I go up and down. Think of yourself like you're a tightrope walker, right? You're walking a tightrope, and they have this long pole that's used to balance themselves, okay? So now we add the arms to balance ourselves. You can go up, down, highway, you know, you know whatever, you know, balance, up and down. Maybe you're shifting here, you put a little more weight here, you know, so, okay? Now, when you, you want to uh, uh, walk up towards this, to lift up, okay, and then down. Now, you don't have to stay in this position for a long time. I mean, ideally, if you ever gone through this balance exercise, they would say, Stay in this position, and the goal is to achieve 20 second. If you can get up to 20 second, you don't have any problem with balancing, okay? But our movement, we have to coordinate this with our breathing. You know, everything, breathe, so our chi can flow, can circulate. We can, uh, you know, exhale and inhale. When we exhale, you, know, you might hear someone say that this is reverse breathing. You inhale, your breath is going in, and when you exhale, it's reverse. Okay, we want to breathe a diaphragm too, so we keep our center of gravity low, down to here, about two inches below your navel. Um, if you, uh, you know, stiffen up, burn your chest, you're going to find yourself top heavy. It'll be harder for you to balance. If you're low, you know, it's easier. You can also bend your, bend your knee slightly so you can, you can adjust. If you have a knee Stiff, there's very little room for you to adjust. Okay, let's just go over this. Uh, let's, let's go over the movement together then. Okay, we'll do it maybe four times and I'll do different versions of it. Okay, so, okay. Um, well, okay, let's do it with the breathing. And so let's inhale first. Okay, exhale as you sink. Okay, inhale, exhale. Okay, inhale, exhale. Okay, again, in, out. Okay, again, so now, inhale, exhale. Okay. In, out. Okay, one more. So in, out. Okay, last one. You guys are doing real good. And out. Good. I haven't seen anyone stumble that much, so you guys are doing very well. So also, when we get older, this gets tougher. For young people, this is nothing. And so you can balance it kind of, you know, it's kind of one of the sign of aging. If you, if you balance and your feet, you can't walk and, and your joints get stiff. And so this uh, exercise, you know, if you do this, I mean, this kind of look mundane. Uh, if you, you know, look at it, young people would never, would, 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 not, would never would be bored. You know, they have a monkey mind, they want to do something exciting, and this is too easy. But think about it. If you can do this, what I'm teaching you right now, when you're in your 70s, 80s, maybe your 90s, then you're doing very well compared to the 
rest of the population. In fact, you're doing excellent. You know, not many people are going to be able to do this as you get older, but if you keep it up, you know, you still, you're going to be able to do this. You're going to have mobility. You're going to be able to sit down in bed, get up, walk over the bathtub. You know, a lot of stuff that I'll require for uh, everyday living. Okay, now the last movement. This is closing the chi. Okay, so this one. Have your hand shoulder width apart. Okay, you're just going to turn your palm out. Okay, you can follow me. This is slow and easy enough. So bring your hand over and then down. Okay, now the breathing. So inhale going up. Exhale down. Okay, we do this three times. So one more is so in and out. Okay, now both palms up facing you. You're gonna inhale as you go up. Okay, both palms down. Exhale going down. Okay, again, so in. Out. Okay, one more. In. And out. Okay, now this is the last movement. I'm closing the chi now. Now for there's a for the ladies, you want to put your right hand in front of your uh, stomach or in front of your dantian. Okay, your dantian is located about two and a half or two to three inches below your navel. How I locate my dantian is that I use my thumb like that Pillsbury boy. <laughs> you stick it to your belly button, you know, find where your belly button is, and then you just bring your hands down. And so you locate it, your dantian. Dantian is an energy point. It doesn't exist. It's just a concept. You, if you cut if you do an autopsy on me, you won't find it. Okay, and then the lady's right hand first, and then left hand over. You want to make it cover so you don't have any leakage or energy leakage coming out or a water leak. Okay, for the men, it's opposite. You use your left hand first and then right hand over. Okay, this has something to do with uh, the yin yang, the male female, and or softness overcoming hardness and, and hardness overcoming softness for, you know, typically men, you know, your, your right hand is strong. So that's considered the male, the yang side. And so in order to counter that, we cover it with the left hand to the yin side. And so for, you know, for men, you know, we're hard. And so we start off with uh, to soften up with our left hand and then we cover the right hand for the ladies. You know, we tend to, the ladies tend to be uh, softer, not as, um, you know, strong. And so they counter their softness with hardness. And so the right hand is covered first and then the left hand over. Okay? That's the concept. But I don't know if it really matters uh, which way you do it, but this is uh, how I've been taught. You know, there, there is a difference to yin and yang, the softness, the hardness, and so we're trying to achieve something like that here as well. Okay, so again, for, for the ladies, right hand first, left hand over, and for me, left hand over and right hand here. Now, now you just kind of focus on your, uh, the three adjustments, relaxing your mind, body, and your breathing. So your breathing is kind of your mind-body connection. It controls how your mind and body relaxes. And also, you got to focus on your sinking and rooting and your alignment, so have balance. And when you breathe, you want to breathe your diaphragm. Okay, you want to breathe, really inhale and exhale through your nose, ideally. And then your tongue would be on, on the top of your root of your mouth. You know, there's reason for that. Some people say, you know, you connect all this 
energy and all that stuff, but it just feels good, you know, that you have kind of continuity, it flows. If you're trying to breathe without your tongue touching the roof of your mouth, it's not comfortable. And also by having your tongue on top of your mouth, it lubricates your throat, so it keeps it moist. Okay, you can try with or without breathing different experiment, you know, and see which way is more comfortable for you. But uh, I think in the end you'll find that, you know, that I'm right. <laughs> Just give it a try. You know, don't take my word for it. Use your body as a experiment. Okay, so we have it here. Okay, now we're going to do this maybe like for 30 seconds. I, I would encourage you to do maybe a couple minutes or five minutes, you know, Whatever that's comfortable for you. You don't want to do it too long, but you want to do it long enough so you can uh, adjust your body and feel the flow. Now, when you have it like this, it looks kind of static, you know, it's boring, you know, what are you doing? Well, internally, you know, your body probably going 60 miles an hour, but you got all this stuff to think about. Another question I get asked is, what do you think about? Well, I don't have time to think of anything. Just focusing on the, you know, the sinking, the rooting, and, and also try to feel the pressure on the bottom of your feet. You want to have uniform. If you're out of uniform, that means you're out of alignment. And so you got all this constant adjustment that's going all the time. So it looks static, but internally, it's extremely dynamic. You got a lot of moving stuff. Okay? I would, to me, I just focus on my breathing rather than thinking. And you can, there's other people, you know, there's a lot of different ways how you do. There's other people thinking like, like you have a, like a point, a ball, you know, goes down bottom of your dantian and it goes up through your head and it goes down, you know, and you coordinate that with your breathing. Or some people look at it like a piston, you know, you go compress, uh, depresses, and, you know, you, you'll find out a whichever way that works best for you. And that's kind of like the internal. You, you, it's all about the mind and intent. Okay, so let's just do this for, let's say 30 seconds. And so just relax. You can close your eye if you want. Okay, relax the shoulder. Okay, I think, well, you can do more outside the class, but just to give you a demonstration, you, you have this, uh, called like a meditation, it, it's very energizing. I mean, we're so busy, we can't even spend a couple of minutes just sit in a quiet room and just relax your mind. So, all right. So, this completes the entire Tai Chi Chi Kung 18 posture. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, go over the program pretty much uh, completely from, uh, you know, we'll start up with the joint flexibility, that just to loosen you up, and then the, eight, the six directional energy, and that's to warm you up. And then after that, we'll go straight into the Tai Chi Qigong. And, you know, we'll, it'll take about 26 or 30 minutes on this one. Okay, with that, I'll Turn the music up a little bit, and so uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shut up and not talk so much. Okay, joint flexibility exercise. So we're just gonna do ten of each. So your wrists, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, reverse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Elbow joint, 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Arm, um, the shoulder joint. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay, shoulder roll. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, reverse one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, shoulder roll. Oh, we did this um, hip rotation. Okay, so one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Reverse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay, the knee joint uh, warm up. So step out with your right leg or left leg and put all the weight in the back and just, okay, massage. Okay. Okay, put your palm over your kneecap and just rotate in one direction. Make sure that your kneecap is able to rotate. Okay, then reverse. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. Okay. Okay, one. You wanna be gentle, don't do it too hard. Okay, then reverse. Okay, good. Now we do the ankle row. Okay, so go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, same. I'm gonna do it where you know you try to achieve one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good. I show you the easy way, and then this is what you try to achieve. Okay, the next one, leg lifts. So, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's twenty because ten on each leg. Okay, the next one it's uh, the butt kick. So again, I'm don't need to explain too much. That's on my other videos. So we'll just go right to it. 
So, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, great, you're keeping up with me. I'm warming up already. Okay, the next one, it's a forward lean. Okay, try not to uh, move your knees forward, keep your back straight. This is to stretch your hamstring. So, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You notice you don't even need to lock your knee. Your knees can be bent. You can still feel that pull in your hamstring. Okay, the next one is a squat. And I think that's the last one, so. So uh, again, keep your knees from moving forward. You wanna keep your leg perpendicular. And back straight, look forward. Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Man, you guys are good. Can not keep up? I'm having a hard time keeping up with you. Good job. Okay, that's it for the joint flexibility. Okay, let's just kind of, you know, relax a little bit and a few seconds before we get to the sixth direction of energy. Okay, this is the sixth direction of energy. Uh, the up energy, you know, have it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, left hand, so reverse direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good. The down energy. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, forward energy. Okay, so, ready? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's step off with your left leg, forward energy. Again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, stop by your right leg. The backward energy. Okay, so go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
Okay, step off the other leg. Backward energy again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, the sideway energy. Okay. I'm getting a little tired, so we'll do five repetitions then. Okay, and also for sake of time. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, later on you might want to get a little fancy. It's kind of weird. Okay. Yep, with that later on. Okay, so this is the flexibility and the warm up, and this is it for a. Uh, preparing you for the Tai Chi Qigong. And so all this exercise I've been doing is not Qigong, it's not Tai Chi, it's just, you know, basic exercise, moving your joint, moving your hands and shifting your weight. And so that's not Tai Chi, that just warm up and flexibility. Okay, now we're getting into the Tai Chi Qigong. Okay, we'll do this maybe, I'll say four repetition on each. The goal is, been told that you know, six would be a, a goal to uh, reach. Okay, all right, so the first movement is awakening the chi. So, ready? So you bring both hands up, inhale, exhale. Okay, again. Okay, sinking, rooting, breathing, balance. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay, next one, expand your chest. So in, out. Okay, again, follow me, so. Next move, move a rainbow. Okay. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Okay. Next one, it's a separate the cloud. Okay. Okay, bring your hands up. Inhale as you go up, exhale as you expand and down. Okay, follow your breathing. So at least follow my breathing. In, out. Okay. Next, roll your arms. Okay. Inhale as you stretch. Exhale, push with your shoulder. Okay. Inhale, stretch. 
exhale, push. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, the next one is uh, row a boat on a calm lake. Okay. So you want to just lower your body, keep your uh, back straight as far as you can, tilt your body forward, turn your arms, go up, okay, and down as you exhale. So exhale, 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 Inhale, going up, okay, and then repeat. So, exhale. In. Okay, last one. Okay, good. This one get a little tricky because, you know, timing your breathing have, so you have enough breath before you finish the movement, okay? All right, the next one, it's lift the sun with your hand. So using my right hand, it crosses my body. So breathe in, okay, look at the palm of your hand, exhale, coming down, okay, lift the sun with your left hand. Okay, down. Okay, again, in, out. Okay, in, out. Okay. Okay. Okay, one more. So down and up and out. Okay, next one. Turn around and look at the moon. Now this is one that's a dangerous one. I caution you from my previous video, you know, watch out, pay attention to your knee, don't torque your knee, you know, get a damage. And you do that by keeping your hip forward. Don't turn your hip. Use your waist, separate your hip from you, with your waist. Okay, if you feel your knee torque, Stop, that's, you probably reach your limit, and then it will just stop over there. So listen to your body, okay? Uh, turn around and look at the moon to my right, okay? Inhale as you go up, exhale down, <clears throat> okay? Inhale, exhale, okay? This one. Okay, good. The next one, it's a push. So have your hand open. You're gonna push through your shoulder. And so exhale as you push, turn your waist. Inhale, out, in, out. Okay, again. Okay, one more. Okay, moving along to the next one. It's the claw hands or the horizontal figure eight. So we're gonna alternate a breathing from one side to another. And so to get you going, you know, now you're gonna put your breathing, so you're gonna have to slow down your movement. And so let's inhale to the right. Exhale to the left, in, 
out. In. Out. Okay, again. In. And out. Okay. You change your breathing when you uh, change directions. It's one way how I keep in mind. Okay, the um, next one would be uh, grab the sea bottom and look up in the sky. So this is kind of the most challenging because you have to, there's a lot of parts in your body that you need to uh, pay attention to and, and, and be relaxed. Okay, step off with your right leg, have your back feet about shoulder width. Okay, the movement, you're gonna just come straight down here and then arch your arms up, then Pick up your front toe, look up at the ceiling, expand your arms, bring your foot down, and then back towards the front. Okay, inhale as we go up, exhale out, and down. Okay, we'll do two more. So, in, out. Okay, one more. Okay, next move. Move like a wave. So inhale back, exhale forward. Okay, again, in, out, in, out. One more, in, and out. Okay, good. We'll step off another light. Oh, I uh, think I forgot. We, we uh, did uh, move like a wave. I overlooked that flying dove spread its wings. Okay, good. I see your faces, so, so good that you caught me. Well, actually, you didn't catch me. It, I did it on purpose. It was a learning tool. I just want to make sure that, that you've learned it, and so you did. So thanks. <laughs> okay. So, flying dove spread its wings. So, inhale, bring your toe up, exhale. Okay, in, out. Okay, one more. So, we'll do just three. In and out. Okay, now we switch light. Okay, I think we'll just do three. So, uh, okay, so. Uh, Oh, grab the sea bottom, look up in the sky. So go down, inhale up, exhale out, and down. Okay, again, in, out. Okay, one more. So in, and out. Okay, next move, move like a wave. Okay, so in, out, in, out. Okay, one more. In, and out. Okay, flying dove spread its wings. So in, out, in, out. Okay, one more. So in and out. Okay, next one. Punch. So exhale, inhale, out, in, okay, again, out, in, out, in, okay, again, out, in, and one more. So out. And in. Okay, moving along, the next one, fly like an eagle. Okay, have your hand just kind of like an eagle making a flight. Put your thumbs together and then down. Okay, inhale, going up. Exhale, down. Okay, again, in. And out. Okay, so now we go to the revolve like a windmill. Okay. This is the one I want your spine to rotate front and back, front and back, 
none of this whipping. Because when you whip, you're grinding your, your, your spinal cord and you can cause nerve damage or a dislocation. Okay, so when you go down, okay, turn to the left for me and then go straight up. Okay, rotate opposite, come straight down and then towards the front. Okay, reverse direction. Inhale, when we go up, exhale down, front, okay, reverse, inhale up, exhale down, okay, last one, so reverse direction, inhale going up, and exhale going down, okay, good, the next one, it's um, play ball like a child. Okay, so we're just gonna, okay, just follow me. We're gonna inhale. We're shifting and we'll start off with both feet on the ground. Okay, so inhale. Okay, exhale as you shift the weight to your left leg. Okay, again, so inhale. Okay, exhale. I'm gonna pick up my heel. Okay, inhale. And exhale. Okay, then the next one using your arm. So inhale, see, take your time and lift off. Okay, exhale. Okay, in and out. Okay, the last move, 18, is the closing the chi. Okay, so. Okay, just kind of relax. This is where you're coming to a close. You, you want to keep all that energy inside. So you turn your palms up. Inhale, going up. Exhale, down. Okay, again, in. Out. Okay, one more. In. And out. Both palm up, inhale to your chest, palms down, exhale, palms up, in, out, okay, one more, so in, and out, okay, ladies, right hand first, left hand over, and for the guys, left hand and then right hand over your dantian. Okay, we're just gonna do a few seconds. I think we covered this already, so take a few breaths. Okay, that's it. I give you the Tai Chi Chi Kung 18 posture. So that's the, this whole class is this last movement we've done. So uh, I think my time is coming to an end. That's the reason I kind of speed up. I have a clock in front of me. <laughs> so I, I don't go over. I have a tendency, I will go over if I don't have that clock. You, you give me a stage and I will dance. I say, if you give me a stage, I will dance. Okay, I'm gonna kind of summarize what we've covered in the last three sessions. Again, this is the Qigong, it's not Tai Chi. And then I cover about safety, environmental safety. Make sure you have a, you don't trip over yourself. You don't have a slippery floor or, um, you know, just common sense stuff. So you don't wanna fall over. And uh, we talk about uh, caution about your spine. You know, try to avoid this. You put weight, you're twisting. Or, or, or I see another do like this. It's just the same, if not worse. So, so avoid that. Um, and our spines, think about it, it's working two dimensional. And on knees, same thing. Okay, and then I'll cover, we talk about uh, uh, doing this Tai Chi Chi Gong. There's uh, three principles the sinking principle, the rooting principle, and the breathing. Then we talk about. Uh, Balance is having proper alignment. You know, instead of getting too complicated, you know, you can just bounce around. If it feels comfortable, you're balanced. If you're not comfortable, 
and it's just not comfortable. Okay, and we're talking about the benefit of why we're doing this. When you breathe, you relax, you circulate your chi. Then when your chi is give you power. You know, talk about using the chi, how, how the chi is, is controlled by your intent. Or I would say the intent is your mental state. If you're angry, you're gonna have more power to punch someone out. Whether if you're uh, relaxed, you're probably just gonna be a friendly tap. You, you don't want to harm him. But if you're angry, you know, you have this uncontrolled chi flow. You might hit someone unintentionally, but your chi is there. Your intention is, is anger and so it causes a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a lot of power. And so when we have this chi flow, the power is manifest inside our body, in your heart, your organ, and so it nourishes your uh, internal. Okay, that's kind of purpose why we practice these chi exercises. Now, your chi there's really, you think about it, there's three chi's that we survive, that we exist on. The first chi is that you're born with. You're given a certain amount of chi from your parent or your mom, and that chi will stay with you, either whether it increases as you get older. But as you get older, it sort of decreases, and so we need to balance that out. So that's the one type of chi. The other two type of chi is important to help us cultivate our chi there's the heaven chi. Okay, I don't know, you know what, have you heard of the heaven chi? Heaven chi is the air that we breathe. You know, you want to be healthy, you want to live in an environment that has clean air. You know, you don't want to live in a smoggy place or places that have a lot of debris. You know, you get lung diseases. Okay, so, and that's why um, when you practice the Tai Chi Chi Gong, it's ideal if you go out in the morning with this fresh air so you can nourish your uh, chi with the heaven chi. Okay, and then there's the earth chi. Earth chi is what comes from the ground. The water we drink, the food we eat, the meat, the vegetable, and so you want to eat good food to uh, keep yourself healthy. Okay, you, want, you, know, you don't want to eat too much of any one thing. You don't want to you know, do overindulge on alcohol. You know, get your sleep, and you know you still have a responsibility for your own health. And so, if you have proper diet, clean air, and then with proper exercises, and you know the chi from yourself is you can control like your uh, how you live your life, the amount of stress you have, and also your emotion. You know, when you get emotional, your chi flows up from your dantian to your heart. We talk about the heart, the uh, energy point, and also the anger energy points between your eye. And then as the chi goes up, it goes over your head, and then you, that's when you pass on. And so I want to keep that chi down so your chi doesn't go up over, I mean, go past your body. And so, uh, and you get that by your lifestyle, your exercise, doing qigong and these kind of qi cultivating exercises, clean air, you know, uh, a good diet. And so all of this leads into uh, this built up of energy. And this is why you're doing it. Not the wave your hand or jumping around and just moving slow and think that's tai chi, but it's not. Because there's no intent, there's no qi flow. It's all by intent. So. I guess I'm rambling too much now. Uh, I'm closing. I just want to let you have an idea of, of why you're doing this and what this chi means and the sinking and rooting and we have the heaven energy and the earth energy, how this all comes into creating more chi in your body. So, you know, we all strive to be healthy. You know, without your health, nothing matters. Okay, we can talk about how good I a martial arts skill, I can beat up anybody, but what good is that if you can't get out of bed? Or how much money you have, you know, if you don't have your health. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this class. Uh, you know, i like to thank uh, Danny, the program director. She made it possible for me to be here. And also a big thank to Sean, who's behind the camera. He's doing all the video and the photography work. So. It's very professional, so good job on Sean. So in a sense, uh, 
it come to a close, I kind of saddened me that this is it, but I'm teaching you all that I, well, not all that I know, but most of what I know. There's a lot more, but I'm teaching you a lot already. And so with that, you know, you know what the master know. I mean, you are have knowledge of what's the master, but the only difference is that you don't have the skill or the experience, and that takes years and years. So that's it. But there's no reason why you can't achieve that. The only thing is consists of consistency and also practicing. So you achieve that, but you have the knowledge to go forward and be a master. Okay, so uh, with that, I'd like to uh, thank you for having this opportunity and thank you for your gift of time to be here with me. And so with that, I bid you farewell and uh, good health to you. And if there's enough interest, I may return. I mean, I would love to go into Tai Chi. That's really my forte. I use Qigong as a training for my Tai Chi to loosen up. But so with that, you know, if you have enough interest, who knows, I may return. Uh, with that in mind, I'd like to thank everybody that's here and also online. So thank you. And again, if I forgot to tell you my name again, my name is Danny Fong. I forgot to introduce in the beginning. So again, you know, I teach Tai Chi and I teach Tai Chi locally, but I'm on a sabbatical. <laughs> so I'm not teaching anymore. Uh, but anyway, so again, thank you, and we'll see you next time, I hope.